forget this touchscreen stuff. It's time for real gaming. Today we're gonna look at a gaming phone. It's the ROG Gaming Phone 2. All of this is a gaming phone. <laughs> Why does this phone sit in a suitcase? Well, let me, let's, let's see it. It's like seven accessories, I wanna say. This is like the full retail package if you wanna get all the accessories. Well, here's the phone. It comes in a pretty unorthodox case. <laughs> yeah, it's like a power core. All right, here's the phone. It's kind of like the Iron Man of gaming phones because it has a full metal back, which means, it's really you know, no wireless charging, but uh, also it has a pretty funny sound effect when it turns on. There it goes. <laughs> it's like unsheathing a blade. Oh my God. I mean, this thing is... Yeah. Look at that beauty. Pretty I nice. love the way the color comes off these uh, accents mm -hmm. on the back. That's really it's, uh, nice. It's the faux RGB effect. Yeah. But you can also uh, squeeze the phone and then it'll turn on the real RGB. Um, yeah, please show me how to yeah. do this. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, extreme gaming. <laughs> this is absolutely oh, the yeah. most gamery phone I've ever seen. Yeah, there it is. There is a full RGB. Oh, wow, phone. yeah. Yeah, it's got a light and then it, all these little pieces of metal flake that's been bedded into the case or into the chassis, it's like, it'll reflect the RGB light. That's very nice. Yeah. It's not a gamer rig unless there's LED lights in it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and uh, so this thing that fell out actually is the, the cooling fan. It comes with every phone. This is the only, I would say, included accessory. Basically acts like any kind of regular cooling fan for your like PC. So you mm -hmm. have to pull off this rubber part here. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. All right. So the bottom of the phone, it actually has like dual USB-C ports. Oh, that's nice. Um, and that's how it gets power. And then you get also RGB effect coming through the fan. Of course. Yeah. So this will supposedly keep your gaming phone cool while you're you know, carrying up in uh, asphalt or you know, Fortnite, Fortnite or, yeah. PUBG. So oh. we've got a little extra thing that came with the phone as well. Whole plastic case. I think this is actually called the ROG Lightning Bumper. Okay. It doesn't seem like it would protect from any danger. Yeah, either. there's still like a lot of like Yeah, if you drop that on the side. Here. <laughs> uh, but I think that's how, it also has to do with this. Like you still put this on while it's on. Right. Uh, while the case is on. And the plastic also makes it a little less slippery too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, let's do the Twin View Dock 2. Ooh, that's a nice little case. This phone has a 6.59 inch Full HD Plus uh, 120 hertz screen. Mm -hmm. This thing basically adds a second screen to it, so you can essentially have a, a DS of gaming phones. Oh my god! Yeah. Two monitors. Oh yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it works as a full-on touchscreen also. So. Oh my god. You basically have to push this up first, and then you s lock it in. Slides down. Just download a quick little update from the accessory. Yeah. This is a real unboxing, folks. <laughs> True <laughs> unboxing. <laughs> so there you go. Um, play launch into something. Yeah, so you could be like playing the game on the top screen right here. Yeah. And at the same time. And then time, browsing yeah, Twitter yeah, yeah, on the yeah, bottom yeah. screen. Yeah, so I could like. A sound on there. Yeah. So this thing actually has dual front firing speakers. You have DTX Ultra surround sound. Yeah. And then there, I think it might be best to like when it's in this mode is to kind of place it on mm -hmm. a tabletop and use it like that rather than holding it. Yeah, potentially. I mean, like the real way I see using this is like playing a game down here. You can switch which screen is showing mm -hmm. what. But one thing we can do is add some controllers to this thing. Forget this touchscreen stuff. It's time for a real gaming. Here's the ROG Kunai gamepad. It's Joy Cons. It looks very Switch-like. Well, this is where you f we are going to start forming the Voltron of gaming phones. Because <laughs> this thing is about to get real ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's a pretty good presentation right there. Like Ready? That. Yeah. Like, so these are like full-on Joy-Cons. Yeah, uh, this is this is very Nintendo. And that like exact, looks exactly like the yeah. Joy-Con. Uh, got like the grip. Oh, it's also got little triggers on the bottom, uh, little paddles on the bottom, rather. And little triggers here as well. All right. This is another phone case. Yeah. So this is the kind of case adapter. So you could also put these onto the phone itself. On so the side can, of the phone. You can really, you really use it like a switch. There you go. And 
then we've got little rubber yep. protectors here. So yeah, this is um, the pogey, yeah, pogo plugs. So you stick it out on there, stick this on here, and there we go. Now we've got, these things are fully programmable. Most of us is already pre-programmed key bindings to games. Okay. But if you say run into something that doesn't have it already, um, you can set them yourself. Like you could set, oh, A goes to, you know, a certain touchscreen button. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Like that. Feels pretty standard. The joysticks are nice. They're definitely a little small. They kind of remind me of like a 3DS kind of smaller joystick buttons. They're, they're very nice and responsive. The triggers too. Wow. A little noisy, I would say. On the yeah, case. definitely not something you want to take on the commute, or maybe <laughs> yeah. something you definitely should take on the commute. Or if you're like trying to like sneakily play like at your desk or yeah, something, like yeah. that's gonna alert everyone that's around you. Weird. <laughs> so these um, these controllers, the Kunai controllers, they don't have a battery built in themselves. It all comes through here. This okay. is uh, kind of like a battery grip. So when they're hooked up to the phone like this, mm -hmm. they're using the phone's battery. Yeah. But when they're hooked up to the controller, you need to yeah. you need to plug that bad boy in. Yeah. So if you get this phone, can you get all these accessories separately? Like if you only want the controller? Yeah, you know, say right? if like you only want certain things, you could definitely do that. It's like, such a nice display though. Uh, it turns on. So, oh, so we're yeah. gonna slide that so right now. Here. We're gonna push this in. This is like the moment where the Megazord comes together, the steam's coming out, like it's <laughs> firing off. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look at this freaking it's thing. Right I think all together this thing should weigh like 639 grams or something like that. My god. Yeah. I would love to see someone on the train playing this. Oh yeah. This is like a, a Frankenstein's monster between the, the 3DS, the look Switch, yeah. and the phone. This is the <laughs> this is the console that Nintendo may come out with next. So this one is called the Ygig Dock. It's essentially a wireless video dock. So you can uh, shoot video to your uh, TV or gaming monitor or what have you, just over the, your wireless network. Basically works. turning your phone with all of these things into a home console. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, this thing's pretty cool. You would be like playing with the controller from your couch mm -hmm. uh, or your touch screen. This one's pretty small. Well, relatively small. Mm -hmm. And so this has a HDMI cable. It also has um, an analog audio cable, port, oh, yeah, um, right. and USB 3. Um, so that can just hook right up into your TV. Mm -hmm. It's nice and sleek, too. Mm -hmm. So this one's called the mobile desktop dock. It's kind of the step up. So this dock is actually pretty intense. This one, you fully seat the phone into the dock. Gigabit Ethernet it has display port, HDMI, uh, Optical audio out, so you can connect it to a 5.1 surround sound system. Uh, you know, because mobile gaming is all about surround sound gaming. <laughs> you know, four USB ports, one USB C. You can actually connect a gaming keyboard and mouse to this thing and so play you're like. Essentially, turning it into a PC. That yeah, and yeah. hook it up to your exactly. TV. Exactly. It's like Samsung like decks on steroids. <laughs> you can actually take these controllers off and then play it like a real Switch console, basically. That's wild. Yeah. There it goes. Sit back on your couch. Yeah. Play Minecraft. Mm-hmm, exactly. Oh. oh, another case. A case. <laughs> I think that's more just like for a full back case. Kind of your classic, yeah. If you're just, if you're just out in the town, mm -hmm. you know, you want a nice little uh, back case for your, for your ROG I game. I wonder if the uh, RGB lane comes through that. Let's check it out. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it does. I would hope so, but... Oh, okay. So apparently it detects when you have the case on. And you can apply exclusive theme. <laughs> oh, it's gotta be worth it, right? Oh, okay. You got like some sort of like runic yeah. type of ROG <laughs> gaming underground <laughs> thing going on here. <laughs> nice little bonus theme yeah. if you spend the money on the extra case. Yeah. That's cool. The Very final nice. item. A little bag for all your ROG. I wonder if you can put everything in that. Is an ROG fanny oh, bag. Oh yeah. <laughs> or shoulder bag. Good pack, whatever. Either or. Mm. If you're hitting the town <laughs> and you want to bring your ROG gaming phone, let's see how much we can fit in this thing. So I definitely see an area for, you know, the little uh, dual screen twin view. Look at the phone. Fine. Man, that's a tight fit for the phone. Oh yeah? <laughs> oh, okay, there it goes. 
So you kind of want to put the controllers in these dedicated cubbies. Uh, or like pouches. While you take this on the go, or you take the controller on the go. There's still plenty it of It still gets bigger. Feels like just like, you know, a switch with a portable battery mm -hmm. cable. Uh, it's currently reminding me of a BB pack from Death Stranding right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> got the got it right here. It's roughly the size. You're all gonna cry <laughs> when I lose it. <laughs> You're gonna have some weird emotional attachment to it. It's also got ROG stitch in the padding right here. <laughs> awesome. I think that was all of it. Exhaustive unboxing. Two thousand dollars for I mean you get a suitcase. Yeah. Um, and if you're not traveling with all this stuff, like mm -hmm. that's just, it's it's kind of like a free suitcase. Yeah. I would like go for the controller, I go for the twin view dock, I would go for this, the uh, desktop, well, desktop dock. Uh, I think that's everything. We've spent an hour unboxing this thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, you know, we could stay tuned for our full review on IGN.com. Check it out on matchball.com as well. Yeah. Thanks for having me, Kevin. All right, thanks so much.